Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be setting up my sinking funds for December. So I've been back and forth on doing it where it's a monthly total or doing two separate pages for each paycheck. But to simplify things, I'm going back to putting the, how much I'm putting in for the month, splitting it in half per paycheck. And you'll see that as I stuff my envelopes. So these stickers are from Sarah Marie's sticker shop on Etsy. Um, these strips, you can buy them obviously as a set or you can buy them individually and then write on them if you want. So that's what I chose to do for this month. Um, this is the last month in my Frankenplant uh, Life Planner. So this is a combination of the Life Planner and the Deluxe Monthly. Next year, I'm going into a completely different setup. I will be budgeting in the Petite Planner. It's small, it's compact, we will see how it goes, but I'm super excited to try it out. So to get back into this, like I said, I'll be doing my December sinking funds. So I'm gonna list all of the categories of my sinking funds, and there's a lot. But if you're just starting out, you do not need to start out with this money. I didn't start out with this money, and I've slowly added them as I've seen them work. Um, so I'll list out the categories, then I'll list out their current balances and how much I'm adding to them. Then at the end of the month, I'll come back, look at how much I've spent, and then fill in my ending balance. So the one thing I'm terrible at doing is tracking my expense, my sinking funds, what money is coming out, and I'm not even going to bother trying this month. For me, I think the thing is, is like when the money is there, it's spent intentionally in that category. And I'm not worried about tracking what I'm spending because I've limited, limited myself to that money. So when it's gone, it's gone. Um, and that's my responsibility to, you know, eye that and keep keep an eye on that. And it's easy because it's cash. So I can look at it and say, okay, I have $10 left. I have blah, 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 so on and so forth. So let me move these. And this is like a hodgepodge of ones that I've made and some that have been given to me and... Yeah, <laughs> I need to get that together. Let me zoom you in really quick so you can actually start to see me writing. Here we go. So for my categories, I'm bringing some back now that we're getting into um, the new year. Things like Mother's Day and Father's Day that after I used them, I kind of like didn't touch them for a while or didn't, you know, add money to them. So the first category that I have for December is Christmas. And you'll see these as the year goes on, they sh they rotate. So once Christmas is over, Christmas will go on the bottom of my events. And that's to keep for me the most current ones for that month at the very top. Um, I don't know why, that's just something that I like to do. So we have Christmas, we have New Year's. After New Year's is my son's birthday. His birthday is on January 5th. Then we have Valentine's Day. I feel like I did not give myself a lot of space, but this is good practice, right, for when I'm in the Petite Planner. <laughs> Everything's gonna get like abbreviated. James. And then after James is, one second, Easter. After Easter is Mother's Day. I hope I got these right in the right order. <laughs> if not, I'll fix them next month. <laughs> then we have Father's Day. And it is my birthday. My stepdad's birthday. I have a lot of separate birthday ones on here. Um, and honestly, because for some of these people, if I were to group it all into like a birthday envelope, um, I would unfairly spend the money. I would spend it all on like the first person and then the next person wouldn't have a lot. And I just know myself and this works better for me. Mom's B-Day. Then we have Halloween. It's like weird to have a Halloween and Thanksgiving on here when they just passed. But that's why when these holidays come up, I'm not stressing. 
Following that, we have other birthdays, like other holidays, birthdays. I'll just put holidays. Because birthdays can be holidays. They are, in my opinion. So then we get into some of the more practical ones. So these are like events at the top. Then it goes into my son's clothes. And my clothes. I don't have one for James. Um, I buy his stuff on like a as need basis and if I'm not getting them, he's getting them himself. And this is just what works best for us, right? So then after that, we have home decor, which is currently empty because Christmas decorations. <laughs> then we have family photos. I've recently been using this category um, because we were supposed to take our family photos last week. So I bought outfits and things like that. Um, and then it got moved to this week, which is totally fine. The weather was garbage. Um, my best friend takes the picture. So I actually don't pay for a photographer. I just pay for our outfits and then to get her like a bottle of champagne or something as a thank you. Um, the last category that I have here is events. Let me see. <laughs> Okay, so typically what I do is I'll have like a break and then I'll put in my um, chime envelopes. And my chime ones will go all the way to the bottom if I do this break. So I can lump them all together and then do like a group total instead of doing individual totals. So I have my sinking funds in two places, sorry. I have cash and then I have my chime account. Um, and I'm not sure what I want to do. Hmm. I do like having them separated because then I can see my cash total and then my chime total. Hmm. I think I'm going to separate them. Like, I think that that just makes the most sense for me. <laughs> so let's see. So then for my chime ones, which are gonna go straight to the bottom, is vacation, so vacay. We have Amari's swim, car tags. Car insurance, and then car maintenance. And I like to keep these on an actual card because if I book vacation, I don't want to transfer cash over to a card. It's nice to just have a card that I can put on there. Swim, same thing. I pay with a card. Car tags, um, I would also pay with a card. And then car insurance, same thing. Car maintenance, you know, in the event that there was an accident, I always keep this card on me. I would not always want to carry that cash envelope with me. That's just personally how I like to see it. Um, it works best for me. And so there is no room for me to put the totals for this one, um, but that should be okay. This is a category that is so rarely used for me. And this is actually something for me to keep in mind with the petite planner and to see if I need to put my sinking funds on maybe two pages. So let's go ahead and draw some lines. Okay, let's see. Are you straight? I feel like I should move it over a little bit. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is fill in my current balances for these envelopes. So let's do that. 
<laughs> for Christmas, I had like over 800 and I currently have 120, one, okay, so we've got 100, 20, 30, 40, let me actually like rotate this money because it's kind of, I hate how all over the place it is. For Christmas, I currently have 120, 30, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So my current balance is $167. So I have spent obviously a lot of this if you've followed me in the past. Um, I am also waiting for my mom and my grandma and my brother to give me some money back off of purchases that I bought. So I fronted the the, the purchase um, so that it you know just came off of out of one person and then they're paying me back. It's one thing like my brother owes me for my mom. We got her the Rosetta Stone and we split it. Um, and then like my parents, my grandma and my mom are splitting with me a gift for my boyfriend James. Um, and yeah, so things like that. So I'm waiting to get a little bit back, but this is still, I'm doing very well. <laughs> I'm doing very well, I'm proud of myself. Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side. We're just gonna count these balances out really quickly and then I'll go in and stuff some envelopes. So for New Year's, I should have $145. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 45. 145. Now, I don't have specific plans for New Year's, but it's just nice in case I want to get a cute outfit um, or a nice bottle of champagne or we want to go out. Like, there's just money there. So I'm not trying to spaz for it later. <laughs> now, for my son Amari, you guys are going to think I'm nuts based on how much I have. <laughs> I should have $840. So, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 840 dollars. Why, you might ask, do I have so much money? Well, I honestly just kind of get paranoid that I'm not going to have enough to decorate and buy him gifts. Um, what I think I'm going to do with this money, though, because originally I thought, oh, well, whatever's left, I'll put it towards my debt. Well, I think what I'm going to do instead is whatever's left from his birthday category is going to go into his savings. I have a piggy bank for him, and once it's filled, we're going to put it into the bank. Um, and so that's where I think the extra money is going to go. Um... I kind of like that idea and might continue that like in the future. For Valentine's Day, I should have 80. So I have 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. Sorry if you just heard my boyfriend stretching. I'm at home right now and it's actually like 8.30. Um, it is Thursday. Is today Thursday? Yes, it is Thursday. I was on jury duty yesterday and I did get picked to be a part of the jury. So I have to go in today and tomorrow. Um, my next category is Easter, so I should have, uh, is, oh, I'm sorry, my next category is James' birthday. So for James' birthday, I should have 65 currently. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. Sorry, this is gonna be a longer video than I had anticipated, but I feel like I haven't really gone through a lot of my envelopes with you in a while, so I wanted you to see my current balances and then see me add that extra money to them. So for Easter, I have $30. So it's 10, 20, 30. And like I said, I did not start out with this many envelopes. Um, and when I did have a lot of them, they were, you know, they're small balances what I'm putting into them. That's because I do it so far in advance that then, you know, by the time an event comes, I have a decent amount of money. So for Mother's Day and Father's Day, I currently have zero. 
I have not been filling them in. Um, that was intentionally, just because I didn't think I needed it the rest of the year to do them. Um, that might change going forward. I think I was also having like a shift in money. Like James wasn't working, so it was just like figuring out which ones I did not need to currently put money in. And that's the thing about sinking funds, you can always change it. Every month is a new month to figure out how much you wanna put in or not put in. The next one is my birthday. I have a whopping $10 in there. I just like to have a little money for myself on my birthday in the event that I want to treat myself to, you know, getting my nails done or buying myself an outfit or, you know. For my stepdad, Eamon, I should have $30, which right here, so we have 20, 30. And then for my mom's birthday, I should also have $30. $30. Let me write those in really quick. 30 and 30. For Halloween and Thanksgiving, we are at zero. Since the two holidays just recently passed. Then we have our other holidays and other birthdays category. So in here, I should currently have $40. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh my gosh. For Amari's clothes and my clothes, there's zero. This, I, I, I use it like every single month. <laughs> For home decor is also gonna be at zero, like I said, Christmas money or Christmas decorations. So for family photo, um, I did use some, but I currently should have $23. So that's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. 30, 40, 45, 10 for events, I have zero. The other qu categories that I'm quickly gonna fill in are the ones for my time account. I cannot actually show you the money because they're on a card, um, but I currently have $40 for vacation, $116 for swim, $60 for car tags, um, 200 $81.12 for car insurance, and then $100 for car maintenance. So those are my current balances um, starting the month of December. Okay, so sorry that that took so long. I just wanted to you know, show you guys my current status on a lot of these envelopes. Um, I'm gonna fill in now how much I'm adding for the month in each of these. Uh, I kind of feel like I should draw another line. Let's see. I think I could have given myself more Roma for categories and like shifted all of this over, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so. For Christmas, I am adding, for this is for the month, I'm adding $100. For the month for New Year's, I will be adding, hold on, okay, $10. For Mari's birthday, I will be adding 80. For Valentine's Day, 10. A lot of these categories are 10 because they happen so far in the future that I just put $5 a paycheck and it ends up being really simple. So for Jane's birthday is 10, Easter is 10, Mother's Day, Father's Day, my birthday, my mom's, and Eamon's are all 10. So I'll fill those in really quickly. So then for Halloween, 
I'm adding, yeah, five dots. Oh yeah, 10, sorry. 10 for Halloween, 10 for Thanksgiving, 20 for other holidays and birthdays, just in case I have more in one month, you know. Then for Amari's clothes, I'm adding 20 for the month. I had 40 for myself. Home decor is gonna get 20. Family photos will get 20. And then events will also get 20. And these are for the month. And then I'll go ahead and look at them by half as what I'm stuffing for each envelope. Um, the ones for my sinking funds are going to be, let's see, I put 20 in for, yeah, 20 for vacation. I'm filling this one up really slow. We did go on um, an unexpected vacation to New York a few months ago. And so I don't see us going anywhere for a while. So right now I'm just putting in small amounts. And then if I decide we want to go somewhere, I'll, you know, up it as we go. Um, for swim, I put in $100 a month. I do like to pay swim classes up front. And it's the same thing with my car insurance. So I do like to put in um, as much as I can. And our insurance is really low. Like what we pay is very, very, very low. Um, for car tags, I put 20 a month. For car insurance, I put 40. And then for car maintenance, I put in 20. So this equals $200. So each month I'm putting $100 into my Chime account. I just transfer that over. It takes a few days to get there. And then I have it on a card that's accessible to me. These, I do pay more attention to what I spend out of them. Um, but because these happen so infrequently, it's very obvious when I've spent money. And um, the account gives you like a breakdown of what you've spent. So last month, all I did was buy Amari's swim for the like winter semesters. So that was the only, you know, like money taken out of it. And it says, you know, the swim school on there. So that makes it super simple. Now... What we are going to do is stuff these envelopes. I feel like this is like the moment you've been waiting for. Um, I am going to stuff them. So for Christmas, it is $50 for this paycheck. It is $100 for the month. This is what always confused me when I was stuffing envelopes. And it just, it was very frustrating. <laughs> so let's see really quickly. So fifty dollars. So that's here's here's my money. <laughs> here's forty, and then fifty. So I'll put that right up. Let me actually move the money to the side. So that's the money I'm working with. So we're adding fifty to Christmas. So there's forty fifty dollars. Here's my Christmas envelope. So I'm gonna add that in. There we go. So then for New Year's, I should be adding $5. I'm going to take a five from here and put that right into my New Year's envelope. Next up is Amari's birthday. So for this half of the month, I will be putting $40 in. Some people put in the full sinking fund amount at the beginning of the year. And to me, this, that's, this is just too much for me to do that in the first half of the month. Maybe it's something I can think about doing in the future, uh, but for right now, I like to do halves. <laughs> for Valentine's Day, I'm putting in $5. Here's the five I'm adding to Valentine's Day. So for the most of these, all the way up until the end of the holiday section, I'm putting $5 each. So for James' birthday, it's getting five. For Easter, oh, there's Easter, we're getting another $5, adding that to the envelope. For, let's see, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is going to get five. We have Father's Day next, Father's Day is also going to get five. 
Then we have my birthday. I'll be adding $5 as well. Five here. After that is Eamon's birthday. So for Eamon's birthday, he is also getting $5. And that's what I'm telling you, like $5 a paycheck towards these categories goes a long way, especially, so I get paid twice, twice a month. Um, that's why I do five because it's only $10 a month for these categories. And I remember being nervous at first, like thinking, oh, sorry for my mom's birthday is another five. Thinking like I saw the money in my bank account dwindling and getting nervous um, because even though I wasn't spending this money, it was being put somewhere else and I couldn't like see it in my account and it was stressing me out. <laughs> but I've gotten over that and you do get over it as you see them working. So for Halloween, I'm putting in five. Like this Christmas, getting to go out on Black Friday and just like spending cash and like not freaking out about it. Um, that was nice. Thanksgiving, $5. And not worrying about like the types of gifts I want to get people. Now I'm not balling out, but like, you know what I mean? Like I'm getting people like decent, useful gifts. And then it was starting to go half with people. So like, you know, my mom wanted to help me with something for my boyfriend my brother and I are splitting a more expensive thing for my mom. So it just works out that way. Other holidays. So because it's 20 for the month, I'm putting 10 in now. We have five, 10. One second. Next up is Amari's clothes and he gets 20 for the month. So I will be putting in 10. For my clothes, I get 40 for the bud. Oh, excuse me. So I'll be putting 20 in. Home decor. So it's normally 20 for the month. So I'll put 10 in for this paycheck. Family photo is also going to get 10 for this paycheck. And then events will be getting 10 for this paycheck. And that is it for my sinking funds for the first half of December. They are all stuffed, looking good. I do wanna make some more envelopes and what I'm thinking about doing is getting the paper and kind of just like doing a like make envelopes with me sort of a thing. Um, I showed you guys before how I make them. I do have some that were given to me that you can buy in store, which I will have linked down below. This is a little Mickey Mouse one. Um, but some, something about like making them is like therapeutic. I just put little labels on them or I wrote on them. Um, these were two different sets that I had and I had made and I think I just ran out of time. It's kind of where my issue has been. I just run out of time to do things now. <laughs> and as you can tell, they're getting old, but they still work just fine. Um, and so to me, this was like a much more inexpensive way to do them. I bought like paper on like super, super discount from Michael's and then put them together and they've honestly lasted me like almost a full year. So that's all. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below what sort of sinking funds you have if your list is this long or longer. Um, and follow me over on Instagram at Steph's Budget. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.